I would like to, first of all, welcome you all on behalf of our president, Dr. Sakchai Tapsuwan, which is uh, sending you his most respectful regards um, in these challenging times. First of all, I would like to congratulate all of you and IFMA again for receiving full recognition by the International Olympic Committee. This is our highest achievement so far. And I would not do my job right if I would not thank Charissa <laughs> for all the amazing work she has been doing as the director and being the backbone of our organization. And again today, organizing this important meeting. Uh, friends, colleagues, we are living in still very challenging times with the pandemic. Uh, we just have witnessed the Olympic Games in Tokyo and the Paralympics. And there I would like to welcome our technical delegate, Ajahn Pai Boon, uh, which is also a technical Olympic official for boxing yes, to be with us yes. today. And his experience is very important. Uh, and obviously, Günther, the head of our virtual technical championship, uh, which has done so much work in the first edition, which was very successful in 2020. And certainly, the entire technical team, uh, obviously, Abi, Erdogan, Jens, and everyone else from the team which have contributed to the rules regulation uh, for the event. Please understand that this event is not anymore just because of the pandemic. This event brings all our youth together because in many ways, many of our youth, they cannot afford to come to our world championship. They do not have the money. Many of them don't even have a passport. So this event on the virtual platform brings all, especially our youth together, and also the winners of the MaxFit and the uh, May Muay will move on to the World Virtual uh, Youth Festival under patronage of the International Olympic Committee in November from Saudi Arabia to the world. So as the event grows, we're getting more and more participants. You, the referees and judges, are the backbone of the entire event because we need to make sure that A, everything is technically in order. The kids and the adults submit the right videos to ensure that they are qualifying to be part of the event. And second, when the event starts, that they will get proper judging and fair judging. So at the end of the day, the real winners will step to the podium. As last year, each winner will get a gold, silver, bronze medal. There will be certificates uh, given to each and every uh, participant. And thirdly, we also will do again the youth ambassador competition, and we hope that your youth will also participate uh, in this event to showcase their hopes and dreams for the future. We have one additional uh, division and competition this year, and there I also would like to thank Günther and his team. For the first time, we do a virtual uh, referee competition. This is something I very much look forward to. Um, it also will give you the chance to not just officiate, but also to test your skills, showcase your skills and be part of the platform to also win a gold, silver and bronze competition. So this is my introduction in general. Once again, a big thank you to uh, our director, Charissa, to Günther and the entire team uh, from the international uh, RNG Commission, and certainly Ajahn Pai Boon, uh, representing the Amateur Muay Thai Association of Thailand, uh, which is the host of this event. So I pass on the floor back to Charissa 
to go to the agenda. Thank you so much and good luck for today's event. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Stefan. Um, so let's get straight into it before I hand over into the uh, hands of our uh, ITO team that is in charge uh, of the, basically the jury of this virtual event. Um, I just wanted to do some general housekeeping. Uh, so today's uh, training session, we will go through uh, from the cover the virtual field of play, and then we'll go through the different disciplines, starting with Y Crew, My Moy, in which we will have uh, the pleasure of um, inviting Ajahn Chow, uh, head of the IFMA Cultural and Heritage Commission, to walk everyone through the moves, uh, the required movements that uh, our participants will need to be showing. Uh, then we will go on to the Max Fit, Shadow Box, Shadow Ref, and a little uh, explanation about the Youth Ambassador discipline. Uh, last, uh, lastly on the session will be the online scoring system training, which will be delivered by Alex from uh, our friends at Our Sports. Uh, this year we'll be doing uh, the scoring online using uh, our partner uh, Sports Data, uh, which is a, a partnership with Our Sports. So this is something a little bit new. Uh, so please make sure that you do stay till the end because um, this online scoring system is uh, where you will be having to access uh, to watch the videos of the bouts that you are assigned and where you will have to uh, enter your scores um, for all the bouts. So uh, I will would like to ask you also if we could all, there's a lot of us on the call today. If uh, when just before we start, uh, as I pass to Gunther, if we could all please keep our microphones muted and turn your cameras off so that we can save the bandwidth and um, ensure that we have as little lagging as possible. Um, Gunter will be pausing for Q&A session at the end of each topic. Uh, so please keep your questions for each topic until the end. If you would like, you can also use the chat box and enter your questions there so you don't forget them. And I will be monitoring, monitoring the chat box and make sure that the questions get fed at the, each, uh, at the end of each topic. Uh, to be answered by the relevant uh, uh, official. All right, so without further ado, Gunter, the floor is yours. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Stefan, for the opening words. So I um, would like to say Saviti Cup to everybody. Nice to see you. There are a lot of people enjoyed this meeting. So thank you so much for your participants. And so we will start with the second meeting. But the first meeting for the virtual championship 2021. So in this case, just a moment, I will start with the presentation. So uh, most of you enjoyed the virtual championship last year too. So they basically are similar the same. We have only some uh, two disciplines more, same like last year, but all together in general are similar the same one. 2021, the virtual championship will consist of six tournaments and disciplines, a change for the IFMA members to compete from their own homes in a virtual field of play over multiple tournaments formats to few for medals over competitions, demonstrating multi skill, technique, culture, fitness, strength, and stamina. So there you can see we have six disciplines. The first one is Ray Crew, Mimai, Shadow, uh, Maxfit, Shadow Boxing, Shadow Referee, and the Youth Ambassador. So at first we will start with the Ray Crew. Uh, sorry, uh, first for the guidelines for the referee. So you can see, I'm oh, sorry, wrong button. So each referee should use the referee uniform in the front of the camera. So it's much more nicer for you. Use the clicker county for the daily drills. So there are two options for this one. So you can use, same look in the picture here, the digital one. It's much more easier. And it costs, I think, three or four dollars. It's much more cheap. So for sure, you need it for the max fit competition if the athletes have to do the same exercise on the left or on the right leg. So most of the referees get confused. 
uh, if they use or if they calculate it only by by the head, if they can uh, calculate it only by the hand, they can't by the head. So in this way, it's much more easier for the referee to use this technical counter and much more easier for you and for your support. The next one is connect via laptop. The second device for scoring smartphone or a tablet and maybe the laptop, but we'll need to switch the browser. Could be, not sure, but could be. Sometimes we have the problem on the last event too. So first for the referee, referee uniform, the counter, click counter for the daily drills for MaxFit and laptop and maybe the second device and smartphone or a tablet. So for the referee, they must make sure the athletes are a personality dressed. Upon entering, athletes will wait to the judges and opponent to show respect. Athletes are to stay visible to the judges all the times and just remain standing throughout the competition. They don't leave the field of play. They must stay inside during the break for the max fit competition or for the shadow competition too. It's very important. If they leave the area, they, if they leave the field of play, deduct a point or something other one. So for the max fit, please ensure you have to watch the video clips and do you have to complete understanding of the match drill and the positioning. So it's very important for the max fit. So I think we can say welcome to Janice. We would like to say something a little bit later to you about the max fit competition. So she prepare all the videos and she know it also very well about the exercise. So each of the referee should make sure he watch all the videos before he go to the competition. That's very important, especially for the max fit. There's a big difference between youth and adults. And example, for example, uh, squats or push-ups or something like this one, you will see each of the competition will do it on a different way. So very important is at first you count the daily reps and the second one, if both athletes have similar the same repetition, the quality will be counted at first. So for these points, I will come later to you. The camera setup, Andrew, Phone setup is horizontal for the athletes and fixed in a position. Make the boundaries of framing to ensure you stay in the camera view. No backlight. Position camera four meters from the wall. Competitor to position 130 to 150 centimeters. Earpieces or connection to Bluetooth speaker are recommended. Live competition competitors will be asked to make the boundaries and when entry position. So I'm not sure if we have this part too. So at first for the Vicru competition, the Vicru rules and competition criteria are developed through the close collaboration of the IFMA Culture and Heritage Commission and the one standard Muay Thai. All rounds will be competed by judging by video submission. Generate judging criteria. The ring settings for visibility of judging, time, the proper idea, balance, power, coordination, quality of the posture, level of the posture, fulfillment of designated posture, use and senior, use focus on creativity without loss of authenticity, throwing hand grenades, frying machine guns, etc. So for this, no scrub, loss of points. The senior focus on authenticity of movement and posture. So for the Vicru criteria, we have, let's go back, sorry. No, I'm sorry, can it go back just a moment? Yeah. So we have a little bit different posture between youth and senior. So you make sure, must make sure if you have read all the rules and you have to understand what's going on, especially the difference between youth and senior. So the senior have a little bit more movement, move um, much more postures inside the white crew as the youth category. So make sure you know as well. Uh, also make sure the time 
maximum three minutes. The proper attire, if they are different between both athletes, if one of the athletes use the traditional Muay Thai uniform, if someone use only the sports dress or something like this. So in this case, it's also a criteria for the scoring system. The next point is the balance, the power, and the coordination. Also very uh, a criteria for the judging, for the scoring. Also the quality of the poster and the level of the poster, same as I said before, between youth and senior. So make sure. Very important also the ring settings. The camera placing are correct. The time management, who has the better time management allocated for the three minutes. The proper attire, same as I said before. The fulfillment of obligatory poster the quality of the poster, the balance, and fluidity and continuity. Who has the better? Just a moment, there is one. Erogan, do you want to say something? Let me check. No. Okay. So now here you can see the scorecard for the very group competition. On the left side, you can see the empty sheet. On the right side, you will see the sheet after the competition. So you have to fill in the name, uh, the, uh, the date, your name, your country, and also the name of the red corner and the country of the red corner, and also blue corner, name of the blue corner of the blue athlet and the country of the blue athlete. So for example, the identity and the quality of the poster and the authenticity, the red corner received for this point, two points and the blue corner only one point. Maybe the quality was not same like on the red corner. The fulfillment of the obligatory poster, red corner received two and the blue corner three points. Direction and the movement, both of them received the full scores. Also timing and rhythm, both of them also one point. The, the grace and the emotion, both of them also one point. Physicality, uh, balance and continuity, also one point for both. And same as I said before, the costume. Red corner used only the, not only, he used the Muay Thai outfit, the fighter's outfit and the blue corner used the traditional Mwiburan dress code. So in this case, he will receive one point. And in the end of the round, we have a score for eight to nine. And at the moment, we must score it nine to 10 for the blue corner. And you have to fill it out and you have to remark it for the blue corner. In this way, it's very simple and very easy to handle it. Good, okay, if there are any questions for this point. If anyone has any questions now, please use the raise hand function so that we can unmute you. Anyone have any questions, please don't be shy. Okay, there's but a question in the chat. Do yes. we have to cross the winner? Yes. They have yes, to you winner. must indicate on the score sheet who is the winner. Yeah. And all the um, same as I said before, so you make sure, or you must make sure uh, you have to so you have to watch some videos, you understand all the uh, the gesture and the posture of the right group. So that's very important too. Yes, so the videos uh, for all the postures are available on the rules and regulations that are on the virtual yeah. championships website. Yes, so you can watch all the videos there, same like MaxFit and some other videos would like to be there. And on the end of the round, uh, in the end of the fight, if you have the scorecard fill out, you have to upload it. But this is a point Alex will explain you to on the end of this webinar. That's very important too. We have another question. Yes, from Rebecca. Yes, uh, how no, small, small can the points be given? Are there no. 0 0.5 or 0, 0 0.5 or 0 0.1 points possible? No, only full points. 
So I think the, the, the distinction here, the, the thing to make clear here is the points that you give on the score sheet is just so that you know who has the most points. The actual yeah. scores will not come into play when you have to enter them into the uh, system. At the end, mm -hmm. it is just to decide who is the winner. Yes, 10, 9, 9, 10, 8, yeah. 10. Yeah. Same as Adnan Reed, he's written into the group. Yeah, that's exactly. And can you give zero? So in uh, you, so can, you can give zero in 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 the different criteria. Yes, you can. Yes. Same as I said before. For example, the use one uh, machine gun fire through hand grenades or something, some aggressive behavior, something like this one. So you don't give any score for this one. You only you don't give any points for this one. That's zero point. Yes. Uh, one of the criteria is authenticity and sticking to the traditional. Yes. Yeah. Mm, exactly. All right. Any more questions on, on Y crew before we move on? Are we going to judge and rate the video live? The we uh, will not. The videos, uh, the judging will not be done live. Uh, we identified this problem the last time, obviously. Um, doing the, the tournament virtually, crossing many time zones, um, it's not possible to make the competition live, which is why we are doing the video by video submission. So the videos uh, will be submitted by the teams and uploaded to mm -hmm. the online platform. And then all of you, all of you uh, referees and judges will be allocated a login to log in to, your, uh, to the system where you will then see which bouts you have been assigned to judge. Then you can access those bouts and watch the two videos for each of those bouts and submit your score. So how this happens will be explained by Alex at the end of the session. Is that clear? Now the next point will be the meme. So maybe if they are agile. Uh, so yeah. we will start uh, with the, the movements uh, for my Moy. Atan Chao Ka. But my Rui Ka. Sadika Atan Chao. Sadika Pom, Sadika. Sadika. Hello, did you hear me? Yes, I heard you. Yes. Now, the teacher will be in the morning, right? The teacher will be in the morning, right? Yes, the teacher will be in the morning, right? Yes. Okay, the teacher will be in the morning. So as you will have seen in the rules and regulations, um, Gunter, do you have them uh, handy to share? The, on the screen, if you can just look yes. at that first. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you have the list of the moves? Yes. Here are the list. Um, for the set, the for B level, uh, look my level. Yes. Don't they hear yeah. Uh, uh, uh. So now Ajahn Chao will now uh, demonstrate the seven Luk Mai Muay Thai level um, movements. And then of these seven, the submissions must include minimum of five of these seven. Okay, so now Ajahn Chao will demonstrate from one to seven. Yes. First one will be Guang Liu Lang. Kap. โอเคโอเคครับแสดงโชว์เลยใช่ไหมครับค่ะขอบคุณครับเชอรี่มันจะมีอยู่สองวิธีเดี๋ยวจะจะพูดไปด้วยคุณเชอรี่ค่อยแปลกันแล้วกันค่ะครับผมให้ให้ดูให้ดู
There are two ways to do Quang Liu Lang. Gunther, can you stop screen share? Maybe that will make the video yes. bigger for everyone. Is that better? Tham cha hai do yek mai. Ka ko ek nung lo ka kwang liu lang. Ao bap cha chay mai kap. Ka. Okay kap. Okay, so now Ajahn will show one more time the first move from Luke Mai level, kwang liu lang. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone, some people are having problems with audio and video. Could everyone please switch off their videos to save on the bandwidth? If you can turn off your cameras, if everyone can just turn off their cameras while they're watching the seminar. We don't need to see your face at the moment. We'll have a group shot at the end so that everyone's audio and video will work to see a Jan Chao's demonstration. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, second move. Hiran Muan Pandin. Okay. First, he will do it slowly and then he will show fast. ยังแล้วยังแล้วก็ยังแล้วก็ยังแล้วก็ยังแล้วก็ยังแล้วก็ยังแล้วก็ยังแล้วก็ยังแล้วก็ยังแล้วก็ยังแล้วก็ยังแ
ต่อไปจะดีที่สองปัญญาที่หนึ่งอันนี้ต่อไปครับตัวที่สองของเราคือ the second the the second method for Hiran Mohan Pandey okay ครับทีนี้ yes 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 ว้าวยังเชื่อครับป้าหนูยังเชื่อ Okay, so now Ajahn Chao has just shown you the first method, second method, and third method. Now they will demonstrate one, two, and three continuously. Okay, he ran one hand in, okay? He ran one hand in. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is he ran one hand in. That's the last way to be able to do Hilan one pendin. Okay. Thank you. Next, Next, the third loop my movement. Na mut badan. Na mut badan. Khap hom. Okay. Na mut badan. Okay, that was slow, slow demonstration of Nak Mut Badan. So now they will show it continuously. Right. So that was not Mutbadan 
in a sequence continuously. Okay. Okay. The next Hanuman. move, move number four, Hanuman. Hanuman Thawai Van. Hanuman Thawai Van. All right, so this is Hanuman Tawai Wen. Second method. So this is the second day to perform a Hanuman to Y Wen. Okay, now, now we will show it continuously. Okay, this was the first method continuously. Okay, bye-bye, Ka. Next is the fifth move. You want... You want thought hair? You want thought hair? Yes, you want thought hair. You want thought hair. Move number five. So it's a defense against a kick. You want to hear Jimmy song, Kanton, So this move will be to counter a teep or a kick. This is a counter of a teep. ปาดตามปากลูกทีมของตัวสู้ออกเอาไปใช้ดีกว่าครับปาดเดี๋ยวลูกทีมได้ดีมากครับเอาไปตรงนี้ตามแค่นี้เดี๋ยวลูกที
Okay, stop. Okay. So that was you and Papa. Papai ka. Party poka. The and now the move number six. Hong Pig Hak. Yes, Hong Pig Hak. Hong Pig Hak. I would do it. So Pong can not be a big party. So Pong can not be a. So this is using an elbow to counter. A spinning elbow. Okay. Using your shoulder to counter a spinning elbow. Take the last here. Shoulder. Okay. So this is Hong Pi Hak. There you go. So that's an execution of a Hong Pi Hak. Hong Pi Hak. Okay, and the final uh, movement for Luke Mai is. Ten quad lan. Ten quad lan. Ten quad lan. Ten quad lan. Okay, this is to counter counter attack uh, high kick. Okay, so this One more time, continuously. Okay, showing one more time. Yeah. <laughs> Counter attack for a high kick. Okay, so that is the seven uh, 
movements in the regulation list for Lu Mai Muay Thai. Uh, competitors must show a minimum of five of those seven. Okay, ha. Yin Tini, ha, ha, um, Sapit, uh, uh, Chan Sung, right, ha, Chan Sung, Tini, see. Tini, see. Gunter, can you please share your screen one more time to show the high, highest Mai Muay Thai level? Yeah. Me, Ta, Nai Bang, ha. Yin, ha, Dio, Ja, Ja, Pert, Pert, Nai Jo, Pap, Nai, ha. Okay. <laughs> okay, we look on, on the presentation. Ajan Kai Hen Mai Ka. Mi Hanuman Yip. Longka. Longka. Hilan Muan Pan Din. Haram Den Dong. Naka Narai Kam Samut. Si Pa. Dena. Hilan. Hilan Muan Pan Din Beleo. พระรามเดินดงแรงยังอ๋อเอาเลยตัวนี้เหรอฮะอะไรตัวนี้อ่ะฮะอะไรอย่านะครับเฉลี่ยนุมานพระรามเดินดงนารายค่ำสมุทร
มีขออีกรอบได้ไหมคะที่รันม้วนแผ่นดินเพราะว่าอันนี้มันจะอยู่ในอยู่ในระดับขั้นสูงด้วยอะไรนะครับชลีที่รันม้วนแผ่นดินนะคะมันมันมันอยู่ในมันอยู่ในชั้นสูงด้วยอะค่ะโอเคเอาด้วยใช่ไหมเอาด้วยค่ะโอเคครับ and then now one more time Uh, the second move, Hilan Muon Pendin, which also appears in the list of movements for Luk Mai Muay Thai. Okay. ออดิเดียสเตียสก็มาสอนก่อนมัดก่อนมัดปุ๊บแล้วก็เข้าปุ๊บแล้วก็ปุ๊บแล้วก็ไปอีกทีเดียวเตียสปุ๊บเป็น
我说，我这个人来骂什么？绝大多数大多数的人呢，在什么来干？绝大多数，两个，两个，两个，一千三百多。OK， 不能去。โอเคค่ะนายายข้ามสมุดนายายข้ามสมุดสวัสดีค่ะอันอเจ้าเล่ครูมวยอีมาครูมวยอีมาครูมวยมากขอบคุณดูดูทักหลังดูทักหลังโอ้ดีมากค่ะดีมากค่ะมีสองคนมีสองคนโอเคโอเคขอบคุณขอบคุณนะคะขอบคุณครับอาจารย์ครับผู้ออกได้คุณเตอร์สวัสดีครับคุณเตอร์ครับสวัสดีครับสบายดีไหมครับสบายดีมากครับคุณเตอร์เซฟยูฟอร์มโคโรนาพีซออนไมเฟนไมเฟนเลยค่ะ Thank you ค่ะขอบคุณค่ะสวัสดีครับสวัสดีค่ะขอบคุณครับเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวโอเคโอเคเอ่อโอเคแล้วสวัสดีครับสวัสดีค่ะ All right uh, so back to Gunter now to explain about the scoring and the score sheets for my m u y Yes So now you can see uh, also At the announcement for this competition, do we have different movements inside? We have A, B, and C, and also the last one you saw it, the highest Muay Thai level, um, Mei Mei, is very high level, and so you have to make sure you understand all these movements. So the system of scoring, the Mei Mei uh, performance will be judged according to the following criteria: two points for identity, quality, and authenticity. Of the posture performance, a performance, three points will performance of all obligatory posture in the starting, sitting, and standing po uh, position. Position, make a mistake, the wrong word inside. <laughs> One point for the better timing and rhythm. It's very important also to have the exactly timing. For example, you saw it before to catch the leg. You use the spinning elbow, something like this one, and so is also very important. Two points for the better. Artistity for a jumping knee and to stand up on the leg and to do the sock tongue to the top of the head, something like this one. And point number five, two points for the better physicality, balance, power, and continuity of the posture. Also very important to make sure every every time they must be in power and in balance. They must show their power and the continuity of the posture. Not make a rest between the posture between the movements. They have to continue. And in total. All in one is 10 points for this one. So you can see on the left side there is the empty sheet. Same as I said before, you have to fill it out with the date, with the name of the judge, with your name, with the name of the country. The next one, for example, we have red corner Sepp Meyer from Germany, the blue corner Don Camilla from Italy. So at the ring entry, both of the athletes received one point. The next. Point is the posture and the movements. The maximum of two points. Both of them receive it. The commands. Two points. Red corner only one. Two corner not only only uh, received one point. The blue corner two points. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. There is a mistake of my side. 
de este Shadow Referee Inside. I'm sorry, it's my fault. I don't know why, what happens. Oops, I will explain you on this here. So identity, quality of the posture, two point. So you have to fill it out, same here on the right side, you can see. Maximum two points for this category. The fulfillment of the obligatory posture of the main my level, one point. The next one is the fulfillment of the obligatory posture of the look my level, also one point. The next one, the highest may, uh, may level, the realistic combat, power, speed, and control, the timing and the rhythm, same as I said before, the grace and the emotion, the physicality, balance, and continuity, and also important, the costume. And same as you see on the left side and right side, you have to fill it out here exactly like on the right side but not the shadow refereeing score sheet. You have to use the MEMA score sheet. Sorry for this one again. And in the end of the round, you have to remark the winner. So maybe you have same on the right side, red corner received eight points, the blue corner received nine points. And this way you have to mark with a cross or with a circle over the blue corner for nine to 10 for the blue corner. Same like on the other score sheet like before. So I apologize, the wrong score sheet and sorry for it, but hopefully it's understandable for everybody. So this one I've finished. So there are some questions for this one, for this category. Okay, does anyone have a question? Please raise your hand. Uh, okay, there's a question here. How how time for my Muay round? Uh, the maximum time for a video submission is three minutes. Is that right? Yes. Three yes, minutes. It's three minutes. The video must not uh, be longer than three minutes. Yeah, exactly. And another question. Can we use other moves other than those indicated? Yes, you can use other moves but yes. you must fulfill the minimum requirement of the obligatory poses, but then you cannot go over the three minutes. So no. yeah, it's about the management and the choreography. If the video are longer than three minutes, it's out. So not continue with the scoring. They're out of the game. Yeah, so very important. It's a choreography. It shouldn't be difficult to keep it within the three minutes. You know, you yeah. just make sure it's three minutes before you submit the video. Any other questions? Either raise your hand and we can unmute you or into the chat box. How they should have to show the A level with the partner or in the camera? With the partner, all the, the, in, the entire uh, video submission for My Moy is a performance between two competitors. So it's a team event. It must be partners. And they must submit a three minute video, which includes all three levels, A, B, and C. Yeah. In one video. Is that clear? And also very important, maybe uh, we don't explain them. They have to start in the sitting position. They show the right crew for only the last few minutes. So they go three times to the ground, bend over three times to the ground, and after they have to show their performance. Uh, we have a hand raised here. Hold on. Uh, Rayad. Rayad. Go ahead. You need to unmute. Go ahead, you can ask your question. Or, or, or please type it into the chat box. Is it possible to prepare videos showing all these postures with names and send to all referees? Uh, oh, what we will do is um, I'm asking Ajahn Chow and his colleague who has taken the video of the clips just now to send them through to me and um, I will try and arrange them and send them out to, to the referees, yeah. 
Yeah, but you can see also this presentation or this webinar later on the homepage of the IFMA. So you can uh, watch it again. It's recorded and so you can yeah. watch it later. We it's will awesome. record this whole this whole session, this whole seminar, and uh, we will distribute it uh, to all the referees one more time. Any other questions for my Moy? I think no other questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So on this way, five minutes of rest, and after we will continue. All right, so we'll now have a five minute coffee break, bathroom break. Um, uh, on my clock, it's uh, 10 minutes past the hour. So uh, back at 15 minutes past the hour, please. Yep. Five minutes break, and we will start promptly. Thank you.
Okay, everybody, we are coming back from the, our five minute break. I hope you guys got some water, got to go to the bathroom and we're gonna continue now with uh, Max Fit. Um, we will start, I guess, with uh, Gunter, you can start. And then if anyone later has any questions about specific drills, then we have Janice with us to be able to answer those questions. Perfect. Okay. So let's continue. So hello again, welcome back. So max fit category. This competition will focus on contest dance, strength, power, and stamina. It should be competed over three rounds with each round requiring contest dance to complete as many of the designated exercise drill within the allotted time per round. The first round will drills on focus on core. So round two drills will focus on power, strength, conditioning, mm. focus on upper body. <coughs> no, sorry. Round three drills will focus on speed, agility, coordination, focus on lower body. So the participants will be drawn into a bracket and given their allotted time. The winner will advance to the next round. Complete it over three rounds. Each round contestants to complete as many of the allocated drill within the time frame. All the drills have been designed by the IFMA in close collaboration with other guys Olympic recognized sports federation, including UPM, Modern Pentathlon, ICU, cheerleading, uh, figure gymnastic, AGF, judo, and IPF, the powerlifting. Contestants will be scored on number of the reps they can complete as well as the quality and the control demonstrated while performing the reps. The tournament will be competed by Fadio submission and scored by two or three judges. And normally we use most of the time three judges, but some of the judges are busy or not available at the moment, which we assign for this battle. So if both judges have the same decision, sometimes could be happens that we use only two judges. But it depends will be drawn into a bracket and they are submitted for the oath will be judged against their opponent. Those that advanced to the next round will have their next round for the submission judged against their next opponent. Next one, the competition attire. The contestants must wear short or leggings with no visible branding, t-shirt or singlet, preferable red, blue, or black or white, doesn't matter, without no visible branding, sport shoes, recommend, or barefoot, optional. But some exercise, it's much more easier to do it with shoes, some of them without shoes. It depends of the athletes. Maybe the athletes will change it between the rounds. So most of them, they have 30 seconds, or um, they have um, one minute of rest between the rounds. So maybe we had it last year too. The athletes will take off or take on the shoes or they take it off. It depends on the exercise, exercise which when they will be formed. There you can see we have a lot of different division, also youth, senior and master. And also for the senior and for the master, we have age category under 75 and over 75. And for the female under 60 and over 60 kg. And also very important, also age division will be calculated as of August 1st, 2021. And also it depends on the age division, we have different Time limits for each round under 13, 10 under 13, they have 30 seconds. 14 under 15, they have three rounds of 45 seconds. Under 16 until 8, they have one minute. Senior uh, 18 until 40, they have three rounds. The first round will be two minutes, the second and the third round only two minutes. Ah, one minute, I'm sorry, but not only, they have one minute. And the masters. They have a bonus, they have 40 seconds interval of the round. And very important also for all participants, all participants are required to use and designated audio guide to control the timing of the rounds and for the, uh, for the recording of their audio. And also on the, uh, on the audio guide, you can hear the nice voice of 
Clarissa, so we'll announce the exercise for the next round and prepare the break, prepare the next round. And so it's a great idea to support the athletes. The next one, the system of scoring, focus on conditions, strength, power and stamina, daily the number of the designated drill, Final score of the round should be decided according to the round as a whole performance, not just the number of designated drills. Recorded the final score as the 10 point mass system. So for example, the last one, the 10 point mass system, if we have, we have one exercise with squat and kicks and the half of the time they have to change it. I'm sorry, I'm wrong. They have to do some squat with some kicks, for example, the the masters, they have to do it over 40 seconds. And one of the athletes received 38 reps, the other one 40 reps. But the guy with the 40 reps doesn't show the best performance. That means he doesn't go on the 45 degrees position. So his movement was not the same movement like on the video, but there was a close decision of reps. And so in this case, the guy who uh, make the 38 repetition, he will win this round. That way he shows a better performance and also uh, the uh, strength power and the full movement of the exercise. And on the other movement or the other exercise, if both athletes have similar the same number of repetition, at first you have to count the number of the repetition and the second one is also the quality of the exercise same as i said before it's very important to follow this criteria and if there are big treatment are different between both of the athletes especially if uh, the use can be a big different or also on the master division if they are big different between both of the athletes you can score it 10 to 8 to that's not a problem and on the end of the round, so we have three different rounds. And for example, the first round, it's going for 30, uh, 40 seconds for the masters. If one of the athletes can show 40 repetition on the next round, he shows only 25 repetition. It depends on the exercise they will show. So you can see and you can have for the first round 10 to 8 for red, the next round 10 to 9 for blue, 10 to 9 for blue. So on the end of the bout, you will have maybe a draw. So in this way, you have to design a winner on each of the battle. And there you can see also the scorecard. Now I have the correct scorecard. I'm happy. On the left side, you will see the empty scorecard. It depends on the age division. There you can see the masters, the senior, the quarterfinal, and also you can see on the right side the masters, senior, six to eighteen, for the preliminary round. So you can see also some different exercise. So there you are. on the left side you can see for the first round the mountain climbers, the up curls, sit to stand, and the next round also the star jumps. And here also. On the right side, you can see in and out plank jacks. The next round, table twos, tabletop two touches. And the last round was same as I said before, the squat kicks. So you see the red corner, Monica from Germany, red corner, Sophia from Denmark. In and out planks, red corner, 23, blue corner, 25. So the first round goes 9 to 10 for the blue corner. The next round, the tabletop two touches. Uh, red corner shows 27 repetition, blue corner 24. So next round, round two goes 10 to 9 for the red corner. Last round, squat kicks. Red corner shows 43 repetition, the blue corner 41 repetition. That means also the red corner win the last round 10 to 9. In totally, you have 29 to 28 and the red corner is winning this battle. It's very simple and very clear. Okay. Sorry, just uh, one, just one, one thing. Uh, the score sheet on the left, uh, the quarterfinal round. Just to uh, be clear, this is a score sheet from last year's edition. So these uh, particular drills aren't part okay. 
of yeah, yeah of, of this year. It's only five. I would like to show only the different, different exercises. Yeah. So you can yeah, see this the quarter final and also there's the preliminary round. So I would like to show only the different scorecards with the different exercise on the scorecard. That's the idea behind. Okay. Yeah, we need question. No question. Any questions, please raise your hand or go and oh, uh, in the chat box. Are we always going to score 10 9? Yeah. Yes. We just need to choose a winner. Yes, 10 9, 10 8, uh, have, depends on the repetition. How can we verify the age? Uh, the age will be verified by the admins on the registration. So uh, that is yeah. something you don't have to worry about. Um, my team uh, on the registration platform will verify the age um, on registration. Uh, we have another question, a hand raised, Nell. Yes, uh, good evening. Hi, Nell. Um, yes, good evening, Gunter. Thank you for the explanation. Um, my question is, what if um, the athlete didn't do the second exercise? Example, he does it in the first round uh, very well. Then second round, he didn't move. Or wrong, he done wrong, wrong exercise. And then on the third round, he, he did the, the right exercise. And he, he won the, those two rounds he won the first round and the third round but the second round he did the wrong exercise or he didn't perform the exercise will he win the competition no he's out of the game we had it last year too that some ex oh. some athletes showed the wrong exercise so they're out of the game it was same like a disqualification is even just one he just make a mistake in one round yeah they have to okay. read the rules before they have to prepare it so they have enough time to prepare by yourself or themselves and so okay out of the uh, game. what what if he did the, that round very badly just trying his best uh, but not able to do the exercise properly it's, but he did very well in the first round and third round would he win he can it depends okay. on the exercise it depends on the repetition for okay. example, same as I said before, uh, the first round, your athlete will win, but the next round, he didn't like the exercise, for example, push-ups. And mm -hmm. so he cannot show a very good performance and his opponent will win this round. And on the last round, he will the round, he liked the exercise, he will win, he will win this round too. So in this case, he can win this battle. That's not a problem. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, did we have any other questions? I saw another hand raised earlier, but on now. Um, another question, even the difference is big, for example, round one point tally is 20 to 40 score, still 10-9. 10-8, it's a big difference between both of them. Yeah, it can be 10-8. But at the end, uh, in the end, it's actually uh, the score actually doesn't really matter because we're just declaring a winner to go through to the next round. Yeah, but it depends, same as we have the example before. For example, the first round, the blue athlete win this round by 10-9, but the second round, he didn't like the exercise. So he doesn't show the best performance. He will win this round, or he will lose this round on with a clear margin between both of them. So it can be 10-8. And then last round, the third round, the blue one will win this round again. So on the end of the round, we have a troll. So we have 28 to 28. Could be happens. You know what I mean? So in this case, we have to create a winner. But mm -hmm. for me, on this case, we have the winner for the blue corner. The blue corner win two rounds. It's also very simple. And then also in the case that it's like, it's very close. Say they, they they did the same amount of reps in all three rounds. Yeah, the quality of the post, the quality of the yeah, exercise. Then it goes down to the quality, which one yes. looks stronger, which one yeah. performed cleaner reps. Um, yeah. so you'd have to go down to like your own decision as to who performed better. Yes, and who shows a better stamina mm -hmm. in the end of the round. 
for example, heavy breathing, they need some water or something like that. Water, everybody needs some water after the exercise. But if someone stays in the front of the camera and have a heavy breathing and is not really 100% in shape. So in this case, also a criteria to create a winner. Another question from Nell. Oh, sure, Gunter. Um, so therefore, in the example in this round, um, they have the same number of repetition, but yeah. the other guy, uh, example, the red is doing better forms. So can I, even though they have the same number of repetition, can I score it 10, 9 in favor of red? Yes. yes. That's the criteria. At first, okay. the repetition. The second one is also the quality of the exercise. Okay. First, going okay. hand in hand. It's very important. So make sure what, the what athlete if, shows where... Sorry? What if... What if... Uh, the guy, the the blue, blue. I'm now sorry, can you hear? We lost you. Can you please repeat? Ah that? yes, I thought it's my my mistake. Also, you can also. It's a problem with the connection. Yeah, Mel, are you still there? Okay, let's wait. We have also Francis okay, have from Francis. Philippines. Francis? Francis go ahead. Hi, Gunter. Hi. Hello. All right, in connection with Crunel's question, what if the athletes doesn't perform one round? Like, for example, he, he, won the, he or she won the two rounds, or first or second round, and then on the last round, he, he failed to perform the last round. What is the corresponding... Uh, score for that. Are we going to give seven or zero? Uh, it's a very good question. It normally we score it with zero. So he, zero. Did, he doesn't okay. show any performance. So in this way, he received no points. No points. Hmm? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions? Is Nell back yet? To complete the question. Nell is back. Yeah. Go ahead, Nell. Yeah, sorry, I, I lost in the internet. Um, yeah, the question is, in, in the round, the blue has more repetitions, but not that good forms. And then the red has lesser repetition, but he has a very good form. So who wins? Mm -hmm. It depends on the, the difference of the repetition. If they are small margin, the weight wins. If they are big margin, so in this case, it's very difficult. It, normally, they have to show very good performance. They have to show the same exercise like on the video. That's why we have all the videos, for an example. Mm -hmm. And um, let's give an example. Which exercise? Okay, the table two touches. So if one of the athletes touch the floor and doesn't straight, uh, doesn't perform with straight legs. So in this way, maybe he will do some more repetition than his opponent. And the other one shows very good performance and he's similar straight with his upper, lower body, upper body and straight legs. And he shows very good performance on so this way. He will win this round to show the better performance and show the exactly exercise. Okay. Um, another thing that I'd like to add there is if you then say have counted the, the tallied up the repetitions the first time and it's close and and then it comes down to uh, having to decide between the quality of the of the drills, you may then go back and rewatch those two videos and recap re tally the repetitions and perhaps uh, make your criteria to count a repetition just harder. Like Gunter said, like if if their hips are are, are going lower then yeah. you know when maintaining straight body you don't count that rep anymore and then recount and then see where you are after that after reassessing how you count a repetition does that make sense yes ma'am thank you and then uh, so therefore yeah. more on the the form rather than the repetitions right if i would have a strict judgment then i would yeah. go on more on forms form power stamina yeah yes yes okay that matters most then the count. Thank you. Thank you. It's similar the same if, for example, the, the push-ups. If someone of the athletes shows the push-up with the straight body, it's all in the line, the shoulder, the hip, the legs are in one line. And someone 
same like hang loose with the hips. So in this way, this, the guy who shows a better performance for the push-ups, he stays straight and don't shake with the hips, something like this. And so he will win this round. But he's for sure, it's a less number of repetition, but he shows a strain, a strong stamina, strong power. And so in this case, he will win this round or she will win this round, only for example. But the best way for the referee is to try by yourself all the exercise. It's very easy. So you can see what's the difference, how difficult are some exercises are. Some of the exercises are a little bit more easier than some other one. So in this case, it's very important for the referee to know and to watch the videos and to know how the athlete have to perform it, on which way they have to show it. That's very important too. Yes, sir. That's very good tip to try the exercise. So I, I have yes, tried yes, it, for sure. and I so you I can you can judge more better if you have tried the exercise. So thank yeah. you. You're welcome. It's a, it's an other example. So same as I said before, I saw you before on the scorecard. We have squats with kicks. Some of the on the video you can see the athlete has to go down forty five degrees. Uh, sorry, ninety degrees. Ninety degrees is the position if they have to go down. But some of the athletes, for example, they don't make the full movement of the repetition. They goes only, they move only a little bit. The knees, they don't go down. So in this way, the ref, uh, the, the athlete who goes 90 degrees down, for sure he cannot do the same repetition like the other way he doesn't go down. So it's very simple. So in this way, it's also where at first quality and after the next one is quantity. Very important to observe the quality of the exercise. That's very important. Any other questions? If anyone has any questions uh, regarding a specific drills, um, we have Janice here to explain as well. Uh, Trista, can I say something? Sure, please go ahead. Yeah, so maybe I will add a few because I've made a, a little bit of notes with respect to all the exercises and maybe I'll share that um, with the with Gunter and he can uh, show it to all the, the referees and uh, judges, um, just things to look for in case they come into a position where, you know, you have similar amount of uh, repetitions and they need to look for certain things with respect to quality. So I can make a table with all the exercises and just little things to look for. So it makes it a little bit easier. That'd be wonderful. Perfect. Perfect. So, so two things we will try and put together shortly after this uh, training session. First is the list of the Mai Moi moves with mm -hmm. corresponding videos. And second will be um, a more spe specific criteria, judging criteria uh, for each of the drills. Any more questions okay. for MaxFit? Otherwise we can move on. No more questions. Nice. Perfect. So we can continue with the next part, with the next division. Okay, so let's continue. I will share my screen. But now, AB, please, can you continue? AB, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Nice. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, Hopefully, okay. Yeah, I don't want to. Is okay. So hello everyone. Um, it's nice to see you all again. I miss you all, and hopefully we can um, see each other really soon. So I'm just going to go through the shadow boxing. Um, so the first thing we've got here is the criteria of the rounds. So the round one, we have um, the judging focus is a slow warm up. So in this round. Um, you want to see good, clean movement. Um, you don't want them to be going too fast because that's the last round. So you want to see, yes, nice and slow, nice and clean technique um, and to show you all eight weapons as well. Um, so the second round is the judging focus is, um, so counter and defence. So that will be like a, a lot of checks, um, a lot of kind of push kicks, um, that kind of thing, maybe, you know, like uh, jab cross and a bit of ducking and that kind of thing. 
Um, and round three, the judging focus, that's when you show your speed. So you really do want to see quite a difference between round one and round three um, with the speed. So the last round will, um, I did notice last year that sometimes some people are really fast. So by the time they do show round three, it's kind of the same as round one. So you do want to see a separate division there between those two rounds, one and three. So in all the rounds, we um, want to see all eight weapons. We want to see good technique, good movement, good balance, defence, um, and we want combinations, so no single strikes at all. So that's um, the criteria for all the rounds. They just then um, get kind of cut up a little bit with the slow warm-up, the counter defence, and then the speed in the last round. Um, hopefully that makes sense to everyone. Uh, sorry, Amy, can I add something? Mm -hmm. Only for the second round, to show counter and defense. Also very important if the athletes, the athletes should show some block technique and also some, for example, catch the leg, something like this one, and they have to move. Don't stay in the front of the camera. They should show it in all three directions, not in front. Don't show the back to the camera. So in all three directions, left, right, front, and also very important, also show counter and defense mean also to show some block techniques, to catch the leg, something like this one okay thank you okay um so down so participants must use the round timings according to the age divisions in which they're competing so like in the max fit um there is a lot of um um chances for people to get medals in this one because it's all age groups and in their each age category has their own division of rounds hopefully that's in another slide and i can explain that um, competition attire, so preferably Muay Thai shorts, if not though, um, shorts will do, um, but no visible branding again. T-shirts or singlets, preferably red or blue, just to show red or blue corner, but black or white is good as well. Same thing, please no visible branding. And if um, people would like, so athletes can wear hand wraps, but no gloves are permitted in uh, this competition and no shoes and also no socks or ankle guards. I think last time we did have some athletes wear ankle guards, which it doesn't mean they've lost the round. It just means that, you know, you can deduct a point because they've not quite filled all the criteria. Um, okay, next slide, please. So here, so points are allocated according to the table on the scorecard. Same thing as the max fit, we're using the 10 must system. So the each round will be either 10, 9, 10, 8, 10, 7, that kind of thing. So I will show you in a second on the scorecards, but in the score but in the score box for each round, you can add the tally. Um, so you might find with the points you've given one, say blue six and red five, but when you put it into the system or in the actual score box, you would still put 10-9. It's not the amount of tally points. Um, and same thing at the bottom there. So it is a 10 must system and the, yeah, the overall winner must score 10 each time. And next slide. Oh, here we go. So this is the score sheets for Shadowbox. As you can see there, what I was talking about before, so, so each round, so you want them to display all um, eight weapons. So for that, they will score two points. You can see down the bottom corner there, it kind of gives you a little tally of each thing and how many points they can score. So to have all eight weapons is two points uh, for a Good technique, nice clean technique, that's also two points. Good movement is one point. Uh, good balance is also one point. Defence is one point. Um, good combinations, so no single strikes is one point. Um, and also, yeah, not single strikes is another point. So all up, that will add up to 10. Um, so you can see where Gunter has filled out the other score sheet. Um, so in round one, he has given red seven points 
and blue has been given six points, but in the box it's still written 10-9. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so the same thing through to round two and round three, and then at the end we obviously add up each box, and so you can see it's got 30 and 27. So obviously the winner would be red in that category. Hopefully that makes sense to everyone. And I think, is that the last slide for Shadowbox? Yes. Quanta? Yep. Yes, it is. So hopefully, yes, if there are any questions, please ask. We have a question in the chat box. Are we scoring against them for having visible branding on any of the uniform? How strict on that should we be? I think with, um, if it's their own gym, I think that's okay. Um, yes. I think the main thing is we don't really want to see, I don't know, Coca-Cola or something like that across somebody's T-shirt, I guess. Um, but for their own gym, their own country, that kind of thing, that's okay. Sport is a gang, something like this one, IFMA, it doesn't matter. I think also uh, for IFMA anyway, it's uh, that, you know, we have our partner uh, equipment suppliers, so we don't want to see um, branding on there from obviously uh, companies that are not partnered with IFMA twins or fair tax, whatever, what have you. Um, so yeah, but your own gyms, that's, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have a hand raised, Mohammed from Iraq. Go ahead. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hello. I'm um, fine. I want to ask, uh, do you have the competitive uh, show all the eight women in uh, every single round? So the, the eight strikes in every round? The each eight weapons. weapons. Yeah. Yes. Each round. Yes. Each round, yes. Each round. Correct. Okay. Yeah. okay, thank you. Okay, we have another question from Emil in the chat box. Uh, on the combination part, what will matter the most? The number of strikes thrown or the number of limbs used? The combination. Um, I think... The as long as you for combinations, it's just no single strike. So um, if someone does jab, cross, hook, kick, that you know that's a good combination compared to someone who maybe just goes jab, jab, cross. If that's how you, it's not about the amount that they throw. It's just whether or not it's a nice clean technique and it flows into a combination. It's very important. No single strikes. All the other ones are a combination of one, two, one, two, three. Can be. Any more questions? Hands raised or chat box, please. And oh. also very important. And no gloves are permitted. Hand wraps are okay, but no gloves. So yes, yeah, so if there were to wear gloves, it would be a point deduction, correct? Yeah. All right, another question here. Mm -hmm. How about using more Baran movements? Some of them are okay, but you know as well, but the athletes know as well, or the trainer, or the coaches know as well. Muay Baran is a little bit different to shadow boxing at Muay Thai. So in this way, it's difficult to say they cannot use it, but some of them, for example, Hanuman, Davai Wayne, or can uh, give an other example. I think Vatlan, can do it. For this competition, it's a different yeah. competition. For example, think Vatlan, same as a Chan Chao, show it before, they can do it. They kick it, they miss the kick, they make the deep kang, and so on this way. It's also a whip around technique, so they can use it. It doesn't matter. Any more questions? No, I think it's good. No more questions. We can move okay. on. Okay. Nice. So let's start with the next one. Share the box. It's also very. This idea was born by Erdogan a Turkish referee, a Turkish friend. So thank you, Erdogan, for your input, for your idea. And it's also very good for the referee to train, same as the athlete. The athlete must, must to train to show better performance, same like for the referee. 
And also, this is a very good example, very good exercise for the athlete, uh, for the referee to continue and to, to train their skills. So judging focus. In this category, officials will be judged on their skills and their ability to recreate competition scenarios. For the submission must be minimum of three minutes and maximum of five minutes in length. Mark your boundary as shown in the sample video. Use the audio guide to control the timing of your video. A bell will indicate the start of your video. There will be a signal at the three minutes mark to indicate the minimum required time. Your video may be a minimum of three minutes, but a maximum of five minutes. There will be a final bell to signal at the end of five minutes. Judging criteria. So now it's very important. Use your imagination to create and creativity to create a scenario about to showcase your skills in commanding the ring. It's up to the contestant the number of rounds they are simulated. Submissions must include the minimum requirement events. Movements and gestures should be firm, show fluidity as if in a real bout. Commands must be loud and clear. Focus, the scoring focus, the scoring system. Judging focus, ring entry, the posture and the movement, the commands, the minimum required events, end of bout, minimum required events, one knockdown, perform it at least one eight count, two cautions, show caution gesture at the last, two or more of fouls of your choice. It depends on the person which one he chose or she chose. One warning, perform a warning showing the point deduction. And one break, simulate actions during the break and starting the next round. There is a video. You can see it, you can find it on, on the EVMA channel. Teresa, I'm wrong or is it correct? There's a video on the EVMA channel. Yes, uh, I think you can also find it on the virtual championships uh, website. There's the sample yeah. referee um, video. Yes, exactly. To give an idea. Yeah. Yes, there's the, there's the link for the video on the virtual championship 2021 homepage. So everybody can watch this video. It's very simple to boundering. Uh, to make the rim, uh, to make the bound ring, and so should be the ring. And there's a small field of play, so you can move, you can show your performance inside. It's very easy. You can do it everywhere if you want, inside, outside, it doesn't matter. But on this way, we make the experience. Don't do it into the ring. Do it out. Do it on on a plain field or something like this, or you can do it in the front of your house or. Uh, on the mat, so it doesn't matter, but in the ring, it doesn't show, it doesn't look good. And so the ropes are a little bit disturbed. And so it's better you do it out of the ring. So let's continue with this score sheet. So there you can see on the left side, the empty score sheet. You can download it too on, on the side. So on the right side, you see the date, the name of the charge, the country of the charge. Now we have here again, similar as before, Sepp Meyer from Germany against Don Camillo from Italy. So for the ring entry, you can give one point. For the bow strength, for the movements, you can give two points. For the commands, you can give also two points. One count, minimum, one point. One warning, also one point. Two cautions, four, also two point. And end of the bout, one point. So in this case, you can see ring entry, both of the referees received one point. The posture and the movement, two point. For the commands, red corner received one point, blue corner, two points. One KD, both of them show it. Warning also, both of them show it. One and caution, only blue shows it, but red made a mistake. And end of the bout, the red one shows it on a nice way. Blue corner makes a mistake. Maybe he shows uh, he shows the wrong gesture, something like this one. But in the end of the score sheet, you have to edit 
and red corner received eight and the blue corner nine points. So in the end of the round, nine to 10 for the blue corner. So you have to circle the blue corner for the winner and we have a clear winner for the next round. It's also very simple and easy to fill it out. There are any questions for this category? Wow. No questions, super clear, Gunther. <laughs> okay, nice. No more question, okay. No, no question. So can... That's nice. So Teresa, you would like to explain the last category, the youth ambassador? Sure, so the youth ambassador category is uh, something that is tying in with the United Through Sports virtual uh, festival, uh, where we, we have uh, young kids, sort of uh, aspiring, uh, aspiring youth leaders uh, to come out and um, have, a, have a platform to share a message or an inspirational uh, message or um, uh, message of peace and uh, peace through sport. Uh, so this one we're not um, putting, we're not putting it on uh, the referee and judges to uh, do the scoring for this. We will be convening a panel of uh, guest judges to review those videos. So this is one discipline um, you, you all don't have to worry about. Uh, we'll probably be, I, I plan to convene a panel of judges from the various IFMA commissions, as well as our partner organizations, such as uh, hopefully United Through Sports, um, uh, Right to Play, UNESCO, um, partners like this. Uh, and, uh, the winners will then go on to represent IFMA uh, as our youth ambassador at the United Through Sports uh, Virtual Youth Festival. Uh, so last but not least, uh, we'd like to pass the floor to our friends from our sports. Uh, Alex will be here, is here with us today to walk us through um, uh, the scoring system and how you uh, should be uh, entering your scores, how you can access the platform and how you will uh, watch the bouts that you have been assigned. Uh, Alex, can you raise your hand so I can find you? Alex, where are you? missing he get lost alex no he's here i just can't find him there's like a hundred people in the room i just okay. need to raise his hand ah there he is hello everyone sorry for this delay i was trying to find this button raise my hand so um uh, my name is alex i uh from our sports i'm really happy to be part of this webinar i enjoyed it uh thank you Gunther, and thank you Teresa, and also thank you for those brilliant uh guys who made this uh uh i don't know this like a theater of my type was very uh ramway if i'm spelling it correctly so I will explain the, I, I think the simplest part of this, uh, I will show you on my screen how you will mm, score the bouts inside the system. We will use sport data, uh, our partners. So I will uh, show my screen. So please tell me if you can see my screen. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Gunter. You're so welcome. this is pretty easy. You will receive your login and password. I will go back and log out. And you will go to the R Sports. You will be given a link. First, you will need to log in. You can see this 
button on the top right corner. I will be putting my login as e-judge, e-referee. So I, you need to put your login and your passport, which you will receive, I think, on next week. So to log in, right? They I need to choose the competition. This is test competition for this webinar. Uh, you click on it. Then you just need to click on this simple button, open matches. And you will see some matches here. Uh, we have only one category for an example. Let's pretend this is max fit. Uh, and you can see those two competition bouts. So then you need to click on my open matches, right? And there is no matches here because I need to do one more thing. Click on the get new match button. And now I get this about to score. This was assigned to me, right? So I just need to click on one more button, show match, which will lead me to this page. And this is actually pretty clear. You will have those videos right here on the left and on the right. You can watch them simultaneously or you can pause one, watch first red corner, then blue corner or whatever you like. Uh, then when you decided, you, you fill in those lists with marks. And one last thing what you need to do is to enter your score. You click on enter your score. And for example, 10, nine, red one, nine, 10, blue one, and 10, nine, red one. And the last thing you will submit, as you can see, this is your score. And that is, this is it. You can go uh, back, go back to the open matches. You can see this. Uh, about it is here because you already scored it. But uh, for example, for if uh, it is finished, uh, it will show up uh, in the sport data system and the brackets will go further. So another bouts will appear. Uh, but to, to get another match, you just need to repeat the procedure. You just click on the get new match. And I get another one. So I click here and do it again. Just score it and so on and so on and so on. The scoring system will be uh, fixed for the each division category for max fit. If you have only one round, you will give only 10-9 or 10 or whatever is the point. So it, it will be like uh, fixed. And I think it will be pretty cl clear after uh, Gunter explanation. Um, so I, I think there will be no uh, questions, but if you have any questions, I ready, I'm ready to explain. So I will, I will stop sharing my screen, I think. And also we will send video guides with the same actually uh, procedures. Uh, and maybe if we will have some uh, questions which will require some additional videos, I will record myself some explanations with the sharing my screen and so on. And we'll uh, share it to all the referees and judges. Perfect. Thank you, Alex. I have a question. Um, uh, when the judges are assigned uh, their bouts, will they receive an email notification from the system that they've been assigned bouts to, to have to, to go in? Uh, actually, no, because they will be assigned. Well, I, I think uh, there are some options how to assign bouts, and I think we need uh, some uh, we need to discuss this on separate meeting with the head of judges, 
how we can do it. So, uh, but uh, I, I don't think there will be uh, email notifications uh, because the easiest way is, is to click on the button, get the match. Mm -hmm. And if there are some matches you can score, you will okay. get it right away. So, so what we'll need to do is once we do, uh, once the uh, jury team have done all the bout assignments, we will then send out an email to all the referee and judges to inform you that bouts have been assigned. And then to then from this day on, you need to start checking, going, logging in and checking uh, for your assigned matches. Yes, yes, yes. We will, we will, I think we can uh, send some uh, emails that we you, you can start scoring the bouts. And after this, uh, we can uh, send uh one more email that that this is it we scored all the bouts and job is done so yeah. but but we can discuss it I, I think there are some ways to do it and we can discuss it on a separate meeting because uh, i don't think this is uh, the place yeah. where we need to okay. find out this uh we had a question uh from vera uh that so all bouts will be scored in the online system, no papers. The papers is for you, is for you to do your tallying. The papers is for each judge to be able to take track of how they are scoring the, the bouts. But when you actually input your scores onto the online system, this is how you are going to communicate your score to us and to the, to the competition. Uh, another question from Jonathan. What will be the amount of time we will have to complete the assigned matches once assigned? 24 hours. 24 I think it was hours. 24 hours, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now the question, once we submit the bout assigned to us, would we be able to check it and resubmit it? I think that's a question for you, Alex. Well, well, can you repeat it one more time? Once we submit the bout assigned to us, would we be able to check it and resubmit it? Uh, what, what I don't understand the question. What what for you can submit the bout to to give it to another judge or what's what's the? Yeah, I don't. I also don't understand. Raymond, can you can you raise your hand and we can unmute you? Oh, if there are some mistakes, you just need to inform uh, Teresa, uh, Gunter, me, or the head of judges, and we will correct the uh, score. Sorry, uh, so sorry. there is no, so basically the question is, is there an undo button? There is no undo button. Once you click submit, it's submitted. Yes, 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 correct. So if you so, need to uh, undo, what? you need to contact, let's say, let's, you contact uh, either uh, Abby or Gunter as your yes. jury yeah. members. Yeah. And we will uh, reset the, the I, I, I will explain, we will reset the score and you just uh, need to input the correct scores. So you just need to do it again. Okay, we have a question here. Uh, so there's no need to submit the papers. Gunter, what would you like them to do with their... No, I will give you an example. Thank you, Teresa. So for example, if you have a tablet, that's why I explained you if, uh, on the beginning of this webinar to use a tablet. So you can download it, the scorecards. So I'm like, I did it before. So maybe you can see, so there is the scorecard on my tablet for yeah. Maxit. So you can fill it out on, on this way. So, and after this one, you can save it on your tablet. It doesn't need any big memory space. And so in this way, you can make sure you fill it out correctly and you have to do it on the other way, same like as Alex said before, I explained it before. So it's much more easier for you. So you have it on your tablet you have this scorecard on the tablet, so you can use it many times, so much if you want. And, so, and you uh, put the result into the system. That's much more easier for you, and so you don't need to print the scorecard. You can do it on this way. Okay. And um, one more thing I can add. Uh, I really hope that, I, I, really, I think, uh, you need to save those 
score sheets uh, until the end yeah. of the competition in case yes. there are some questions or uh, yeah. why the, there are marks and you can this explain because yeah, it's yeah. hard to remember. Yeah, this is only a PDF, so I don't need a much, I need much more memory on your tablets. So in this case, you can save so much if you want or if you need, it doesn't matter. So that's can why I it's just, important. Um... Sorry, can I just add with the mistakes? If someone does make a mistake, I think you need to um, let us know as soon as possible, like yeah. either me or Guntra or somebody, we're in different time zones. So if you can't get hold of one of us quite quickly, maybe try the other person because you don't want that bout to move on to the next round and it's the wrong person. And then, you know, by the time they go through, we had that last year and then one person moved through a few times and it was wrong from the beginning. So if you do make a mistake, just try and get hold of somebody, whether it's me, Teresa, or Gunter, or Jens, or Erdogan, um, as quickly as possible. Yeah. Just so, so we can... So what we'll do is we'll supply a contact list to everyone as well, among the, among the other things that we have said that we will supply after this session, um, so that you always have a list of people to contact, and then whoever gets that message first can, can respond accordingly. There is a question from Erdogan. Yeah. Uh, yes. Can a judge see the scores of other judges? Uh, I think we will turn off this function so uh, you will see only your scores because it makes sense. Yeah. It will influence your score. So last year we have a small problem with this. <laughs> okay. So we are we're, we're correcting that yeah. problem this time around. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Can we judge Claire from our own country? No. So this is where how, why uh, this is why we are going to assign the bouts. Uh, our jury mem our jury team will assign the bouts to ensure that uh, judges are not judging uh, participants from their own country. So Alex, I have a question to you. Yep. Uh, may it's possible you have a program to to select the judges for each uh, for each part. You can do it. Uh, yes, actually, yes. But I think there is the it is the team for our other separate meeting because there are okay. some special details which we are we can discuss it for I, I don't know. For half an hour, and I, I don't think yeah. those hundred okay. persons. So this will mm -hmm. be, yeah, I guess this will be another technical meeting just between yep. Yes, yep. Uh, system system team and uh, jury team and myself. Yeah. Yeah, to iron out those questions. Um, we had a question from Raymond. Can we do judging with the mobile phone? Actually, yes. Can. If you have good oh. eyes. <laughs> and you have a full power bank. Yeah. And it's it's online. It's, it's like it's one. a website that you log into. So yes, you can, but it just might not be the best yeah. uh, Actually, yeah. you better you better do it on your laptop or I don't know, tablet, tablet. because yeah. small you screen. You have a bigger screen, it's much for easier to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But if you don't have any other options, you can score it on your phone. It's not a problem. Could be last year we have some some special bouts we must finish as soon as possible. So on this way we have to call some other referees down the way. So some of the referees down the way by car. So they are not the driver. Luckily, they're sitting on next to the driver. So during the way to the next stop, they watch the video during the way to there. And so they make the decision on this way. So could be happens, but should not be happens. So please pay focus. Please be concentrate on the competition and stay in a safe place. It's much more easier for you and for all other ones. Uh, we have a question from now. Uh, are we going to be notified in advance about our assigned bouts? This is a question I had asked also. Um, there will not be an email notification uh, about your assigned bouts, but we will let everyone know that bouts have been assigned so uh, that, that everyone should now log in and check your bouts. Um, once we do start 
after the first uh, bouts are assigned, that's when you start need to start logging in and looking at your bouts, judge them, and then the following day, every morning, just go back in and check if you've been assigned your next set of bouts until we get through to the finals. Any more questions? I think um, a lot of us work like, so I understand, you know, you want to know when your bouts are there, but if you check, like you say, first thing in the morning, maybe before you go to work, and then if you have a lunch break, you can just get on. And even if you're only doing one or two bouts, and then at the end of the day, you can have another look and you'll be surprised you can get through quite a few bouts that are assigned to you. I know last year, sometimes with the UTS festival, I got on and there'd be about 15 bouts that I still had to do. Um, but yeah, it's surprising how quickly with this system, it, um, it is a lot easier to get through um, than doing the paper and then uploading the paper like we did last year. Um, so this system is actually quite quick. You'll be surprised oh, how yeah. quickly you and can go through. It's easier. Yes. Yeah, I agree. So just, Thank just, you, be, Alex. Um, just be on it with checking, you know, I mean, like you, we always check our Facebook notifications. So while you're doing that, go in and check your sports data bouts, please. <laughs> All right, well, I think if we don't have any more questions, oh, wait, one more question from Greece. Could you please give us an example if there is any to give where an athlete should be disqualified for some reason in any of the categories? I have an example. Yep. For example, the video is too long for, it, it need to be three minutes and it three minutes 0. 0.5. Okay, yeah, that is one. Means for disqualification. So this would be for a my Muay or a Y crew submission. If it is over the uh, time. From Max Street, he shows, or the athlete shows the wrong exercise. Yeah. He sent the wrong video. Well, there's some athlete who have or who has an, a shirt with some not nice branding on for something like this. Also disqualification for not using in MaxFit, particularly for not using the audio guide. Yes. And for, you know, having, last time we had some video submissions that were edited. So they looked very pretty, but they had graphics and editing and, you know, cut between the rounds. And this is not what we're after because then um, the stamina uh, part of the, the competition goes out the window because you're not you're not supposed to be having breaks you're supposed to be on screen standing in between the the rest which is why we created the um, audio guide so audio guide must be used in all the max fit videos and we should yep. be able to hear it um, when you're watching the videos and also one thing uh, for max fit if they leave the field of play during the break mm -hmm. for example they have one minute of rest they left and they come back. For example, they could be cut at the video, something like this. And this way they have to stay in the front of the camera. Don't okay. leave the field of play. It's also very important. It's inside the rules also. Does that answer your question, Katarina? Okay. Perfect. Any more questions? No? All right. Okay, Perfect. well, in that case, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Gunter. Thank you, Abby. Thank you, You're Alex. Welcome. And thank Ta Chao um, for his wonderful, wonderful demonstration. I think we all learned a lot. Um, thank you, everyone, for signing up to do this and um, dedicating your time uh, uh, towards this virtual championships. It's a really important endeavor for us as, as uh, an IOC-recognized um, organization. This is one of the things that I think uh, has set us apart um, in the eyes of the Olympic Committee, um, that they saw what we did last year and that we can show them again what we're doing this year and really bring it the level up. And it's because of the work of all of you and all of us in behind the scenes that will make it happen and make, an, make it an, a success for them to see. Um, so thank you very much. We, I will be, uh, this has been recorded. I will uh, make sure that this gets shared with everyone. Um, uh, as we said, we will also make a contacts list 
for in the case of any emergency, you can contact us at uh, any time zone. Uh, we will put together also the, the MIMOI uh, required regulation list moves uh, together with the videos. So we're all clear as to what needs to be included in the videos you judge. And then Janice, also, thank you very much. You will be putting together um, a specific criteria that you can use in your judging of the max fit drills. Um, so once again, thank you, everybody. Uh, let's do a group photo. If everyone can turn on their cameras and we can take some screenshots. 